show of hands for who has skincare on their Christmas wish list. Everybody. <laughs> who used some kind of skincare today? Wow. <laughs> My 11-year-old daughter and her friends joining the many tweens who are already neck deep into skincare. I have like a lot of cleansers, toners, moisturizers, like a million face masks. I have a lot of stuff. The elephant, bubble, Burt's Bees, Mario Badesco. What do your parents think when you said, I want skincare for Christmas? They kind of like paused for a second. They're like, um, do you need it? Fueling a growing demand for moisturizers, cleansers, face masks, and more. So much so, brands are marketing to this age group, Generation Alpha, born in 2010 and beyond. It's a trend some parents are feeling grinchy about this holiday season. That feels incredibly young and shocking and yet super pervasive. Do you feel like they're growing up too fast? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitively yes. Only look with your eyes. Experts stress how powerful marketing can be for this always online generation. This is the first generation who have fully grown up digital, and that is key in terms of influencing their consumer choice as well. I'm going to show you what's in my skincare fridge, and you can decide if you need one for yourself. Young so called skin influencers like V Lai amassing huge followings on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, promoting brands and pushing sales to new heights. The most important thing to remember is to wear sunscreen. Annual mass skincare sales grew from 7.8 billion in 2019 to 9.2 billion in 2022. And annual skincare spending among teens grew 19% over last year to an average of $122. Brands like Elf Beauty, Ulta Beauty, and Bubble Skincare are cashing in. We started the brand with a community of um, Gen Zers, but now it evolved to be a much wider age range. Bubble Skincare CEO says she's expecting to see 800% growth this year with an average price point of $15 appealing to Gen Z and Gen Alpha consumers. When parents look at this and think maybe my child is growing up too fast, they're getting into beauty too quickly, what's your response? I have a seven-year-old and I, uh, I totally agree. Sunscreen, cleanser, moisturizer, and you should be all set. So you would say less is more? Yes, 100%. Dermatologists say kids should keep it simple and using the basics like cleanser and sunscreen won't hurt in the long run. We tend to tell our patients to stay away from harsh acids and um, a lot of these like kind of more caustic masks and things you see that might be a bit more amenable for social media for filming, uh, but they're not necessarily great for your skin. Do you guys really think you need all these products? Skincare like gets you into the habit of like washing your face and doing all these stuff that would like help your skin and make it better and like, cleaner. Love it or hate it, it's all this generation wants for Christmas. Vicki Wen, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.